we're going to discuss very briefly chicken parasites. So we had talked about on our chicken care, we got cut off. <laughs> Scaly leg mites, um, which presents as a, a crusty uh, formation on the legs. Now that can be um, dragon legs in some breeds as they get older, about four years old. But uh, if you see that on your young birds uh, or your older ones, safer than sorry, go ahead and treat. So scaly leg mites are, are um, contagious. So you want to treat them with petroleum jelly on their legs, an oral or pour on ivermectin. Um, be sure to retreat in 10 days and again in 10 more days because mites are really hard to get rid of. Um, the other thing that you're going to, they, what they do is they get on the leg and it lifts the scale. Um, because they've laid eggs under there and are, uh, chickens fighting. <laughs> so the other kind of mites they get are, um, they can have blood mites and those don't stay on the bird. They're off the bird, um, and in the environment and then they come out at night and feed on the bird. So you want to dust around with something like permethrin dust. Uh, the same thing for any other kind of mites. Dust the bird itself with uh, something like permethrin. You can get this in your garden section. Um, permethrin is safe for vegetables and pets and stuff like and birds. So, so the permethrin is effective on mites, lice, ticks, chiggers. Um, lice you're going to see crawling around, uh, particularly around their vent. Same thing with mites. Um, and you're going to see them sometimes on the feathers. Lights, lice are not as contagious as mites because they're kind of um, like to hang out on the same bird, but they are contagious. So uh, make sure you inspect and treat uh, all new birds coming in. Red patches around the vent and on the chest is, is a good sign of, of mites. Um, and then um, you're going to uh, have a problem sometimes with worms. Um, don't expose them to... Um, an animal that uh, has a lot of worms like pigs and goats because um, they shed off a lot of, of that stuff and you don't want them to, to get it. And again, don't don't give them stuff like earthworms and, and intermediate hosts that are going to infect them. Uh, if they do get worms, you're going to see it in their manure probably. Um, if you don't see it though, you know, symptoms can be weight loss, pale comb because they're getting the blood sucked out of them. Listless diarrhea, slow growth. You, uh, some people say you can see worms inside of the eggs, so do not let that happen to you. That would be really bad. Um, gape worms they can also get. Um, those cause uh, head shaking and gaping, which is why they're called gape worms, and coughing. So, um, so to deworm your chicken, you can use piperazine orally. Uh, young birds under six weeks, 50 milligrams per bird, 100 milligrams per bird for birds over six weeks. You repeat it in 10 days. Um, you always want to repeat these things. Uh, 10, 10, and 10 is all oftentimes effective with, with um, pests like this, like parasites. Um, so if you're adding it to a community water for your chickens, add 3 mils, uh, milliliters per gallon of water. Uh, egg withdrawal for piperazine is listed in California, in Canada and Australia um, as a zero-day egg withdrawal. In this country, they don't actually recommend any of them for uh, chickens for egg-laying purposes. Um, you can also use uh, pour-on ivermectin, or if you very carefully measure it, oral ivermectin. Um, so pour-on, you would want to... Uh, Apply it with an eyedropper to the back of the neck, a couple to one to three drops per bantam, four drops for light weight breed, five drops for a heavy breed. Um, repeat in 10 to 14 days. Uh, ivermectin withdrawal, seven days. Ivermectin is used in humans, okay? So anytime you find out that a dewormer is used in humans, then it's not as big a deal to use it in, an, in a producing animal like this um, because you don't want to let them go on with parasites. Natural um, antiparasitics are typically non-effective, particularly with dewormers. Um, and uh, there's a reason we went chemical. So make sure you watch out for them with that. Um, so that is our keeping a clean environment is a good idea to keep parasites down, period. 
um, and creating areas where they can dust bathe and stuff like that to help keep their feathers nice uh, helps them to combat parasites. Keeping a good diet helps them combat parasites. Um, all these things are, are integral to keeping your chickens healthy. This has been Chickens and Parasites.